If you look around the world, uh, we have a major energy crisis. The sun is a massive solution to that problem. The sun actually delivers to the Earth's surface in two hours or around two hours, enough energy, if we could harness it, for all the world's energy needs for a year. The UK OPV project is a project collaborative between three universities in the UK and Diamond to look at polymers that can actually take in sunlight and generate electricity or energy from them. Uh, so we're talking about groups from Cambridge, Cardiff and Sheffield, both chemistry and physics, dealing with different aspects of these polymer materials. Some of them are looking at how they're prepared, actually the chemistry. Some of them are looking at the device manufacture and some of them looking at the properties uh, and that primarily is where Diamond interacts with the universities, looking at how we might actually grow a material that would actually work well and then also see how the processing conditions could actually improve the performance uh, of these polymer systems. Diamond is working in this area to look at both the atomic and the molecular structure uh, of these polymer systems. Uh, again, with structure, it can often actually be dictating then how the, the practical application of the system might work. So in the small angle beam line, we're looking at how the, the films are actually laid down, the polymer films, uh, and how the structure is developed as the film dries, uh, because this has a major impact on the device performance. Uh, and that's the, that's the one thing we want to try and really improve. Uh, these systems work reasonably well. They're not quite good enough yet to be a commercial product, for example. So we, we need to improve their performance and structure is seen to play a key role in that. Uh, in the other areas, we're looking at the atomic structure of how the, the atoms actually interact with each other. Uh, and that affects the electronic properties of the polymer. And again, that leads on to how you might actually build a better photovoltaic cell uh, and give us something back from all this lovely sunlight that we, uh, that we get. We're part of uh, a larger team of, of academics who are uh, working together to solve the, the very large problems uh, and challenges involved in hydrogen storage. And, we're, and we also have an industrial collaboration with General Motors. Everybody likes the idea of hydrogen powered cars because they're very clean and uh, they only produce water as a waste product. There are problems though uh, in that people don't like the idea of cars with uh, uh, hydrogen uh, in, in large pressurized cylinders or in, uh, in la la large refrigerated containers of, uh, of liquid, liquid hydrogen. What we're trying to do is develop uh, materials that can, that can store hydrogen uh, much more safely, much more controllably and, uh, and, re and release it on demand. Uh, we're also trying to uh, get a lot more weight efficiency because it, if you have uh, large cylinders of hydrogen, the cylinders themselves are very heavy and, and, and th therefore you have to move them around. So we're trying to get chemically uh, more intelligent materials that sto store hydrogen and, and, re and release it on demand. Typically what we do is we make a new metal organic framework and we can measure its properties, for example, how well it stores hydrogen, uh, what, what temperatures it's effective to, uh, and, and so on. And uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of interest in, uh, in trying to, to, to work out uh, the fundamental properties of these. Um, everybody thought originally, in metal and ground frameworks, stuff as much hydrogen as you can in, and, and that will solve all the problems. It's not, and we, of course, as with all scientific questions, it's never that simple. And what, and what, what, we've, what we've done, uh, along with other people, is discover some of, some, some of these complexities. And a lot of the work we've actually sorted out, because of work, uh, a lot of the problems we've sorted out, because of uh, work that we've, uh, we've, done, we've done at Diamond. What this allows us to do really quite quickly is to design the, 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 the features that we find that are effective in hydrogen storage into the next generation. So that there's this kind of, uh, of, 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 of step ladder effect where we get, we, get inform, inf we get information from diamond, it feeds into other information, and, and, and so we, we, actually, we actually get uh, metal organic frameworks that are better and better hydrogen storage agents.